watching uh, my main man. Go watch his channel. Subscribe today. Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Central Coast Bass. I'm back here at Uvis, aka The Puddle. Last time I was here, I was down at the roadbed area, and I only caught one fish on this jig. So I made up some more jigs, and some of my favorite color, the green pumpkin June bug. Plus I made up a black and blue. I'm at the dam this time. Water looks murky. Obviously, it's dropped even more, but I'm gonna go down there and see if I can find some fish on the jig. Hope you enjoy it. Spook tied on here like I'm going to be using that. Bobblehead tied on here. Man, what the hell's going on here? Man, car after car after car. Got the bobblehead tied on there, but obviously that's going to be the jig pole right there. And evidently I have the flicking tied up on the, uh, what I used to use it as a drop shot. Okay. Let's get down there and see if I can find some fish. Let's go see what's happening at the puddle. Mellow wind today. It's the part I hate the most, guys. Working down these steep hills. Whoa. See how low the water is. Evidently there's an island right there. Look at those rocks down there, guys. They just fish up here, remember, in that corner. That rock pile was probably where I was getting a lot of my fish. Don't think rocks come in a square. That rock is square. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, almost died. Perfect place to keep my stuff. Keep my poles here, keep everything else there. I'm gonna be working all of the well obviously this little area here and this goes up and around the corner. And you can see it's flat. Oh wow, look, I didn't even notice that a ledge. This is great guys, you get to discover everything. Alright, I got the bubble head on. I'm gonna be taking that off. Might fish it later. Let's start with Start with black and blue. I got the actual green pumpkin jew bug, made up two of those. Got the one jig that caught me, the uh, smoky craw with the Alabama. Well, I'm gonna start out with the black and blue to start. This is great. I love this little freaking table we got here. My always favorite knot, guys. Only knot I tie. You knot one, two, three. And a four. That's all you need. Don't even lick it. It's tight. Clip the tag in. Give it some yanks. Our quarter ounce flipping jig, black and blue. See if that can catch me anything here in the puddle. Might have to go to the color that caught me the last fish in here. Confidence, confidence. All right, I'm gonna switch up to Smoky Craw. Got the last fish. Oop. Got a jig attached to it. It's more subtle. Caught me a fish in here. Man, look at that. You can tell how quick it drops here, guys. See that, like, spot there, and that spot there, and that spot there, spot there, spot there. See that layering? It shows you that it's dropping really, really quick. Right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to hook up the drop shot, throw it around where I started, and then possibly wander all this stuff again. Let's hook up the drop shot. Dig in here. Find all my crap. Hooks, drop shot hooks. 
Order number two, mosquito hook. Need to wait. Where are split shots? See them anywhere. Right at the bottom. Yep, there they are. All the crap. Back. My new way to hook these guys. Put knot the end of the line and put on a split shot. No more split right in the end, I just put a split shot. Easier, weight gets hooked, comes off easier. Now I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go with the, this water so mucky. I'm gonna go with the brown purple, the brown grape. Try this way. Let me try along here. Let me hit up this section with the drop shot. Okay, I scanned this whole side of the dam. I hit up all the best looking spots, worked with the jig and the drop shot. It's not very deep out here. I think most of what I was fishing was about eight to 10 feet. Not a bite. So right now I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna work the face of the dam. At Chesbro, most of my fish came along the face of the dam. I don't know, maybe they just want that 45 degree angle. It probably drops deeper. They can go up and down in the column. Because out here it seems to drop and it just seems to flatten out. So I'm going to spend the second half of my day over there and try to face the dam. Okay, I'm going to obviously take the spook off of here. Probably not going to be needing the spook at this point. Put it back in its home. Probably till you know, for a while. Stuff there, this stuff there, this up, hook on the flicking, get it ready. Might be the only bait they want. Let's rig that up because I'm making a move. About an hour and a half of fishing time. Along the face of the dam we go. Okay, let's start right here. Hopefully these fish want wood because it seems to be just nothing but wood face this dam all right i'm gonna try to flicking around here doesn't seem to be much on the bottom but only profile i haven't tried is dying I might go hit up that corner over there. Okay, I'm gonna hit even further. A lot of walking today. I'm gonna go try that point over there. Very little time left. Guess the end of the day, I'm either walking back down the dam. I'm working my way all the way up there. It ain't gonna be fun. All right, let's see if this little area produces anything. Throw the jig to start to see if I can find anything. Try this way. Yeah, there's a drop like that edge out there. Anything? Yeah. <laughs> Same here. Trying for bass. I haven't even got a bite. Thanks. Oh, look at that. Carp jump. All right, I guess I'm just gonna hammer this with the freaking flicking. Seems to be a little bit of some sort of structure out there, some sort of rocky or bottom. If they want something subtle, they'll hit this. They don't seem to want the jig at all. This might be my first blank, guys. I fucked up. I should have tried this over there, the flicking. Just over there, there was rock and well, something they might have been on. It's the only thing I didn't try on them over there. Not only a blank, but not even a bite. Oh, frustrating. Whoa, Jesus. Look at that. <laughs> Man. Where the hell did that come from? It just dirtied my shoes pretty bad. Just going to go try over here in the flats. 
There's just nothing here. <sighs> nothing up in these shallows. Don't see me much of anything around here anywhere. Go back to this point. Throw a couple more casts out there. Only place I can find some sort of structure on this side. Not walking right there again. Man, look at all the cars going by. Jeez, Louise. I'm not gonna make my ending too fun. Trying to film with all that traffic. Man, look at all that traffic, guys. Look at this traffic from there all the way back there. Look at as far as you can see. There's a million, million freaking cars right now. Look at that. Depressing day, guys. Depressing day. Actually, hit a moment where there's no cars. Almost. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this edition of Central Coast Madness. My first blank of the year. Not only a blank, but not even a bite. For a little over four hours of fishing. I messed up a little bit. I probably should have stayed where I started, where I found some structure in those rocks and tried to flick it. I decided to go to that other side, but it was very barren. I couldn't really find anything on the bottom. It was just all just flat. No rocks, no wood, but the water's low 50s that's not too cold they should be hitting but this is the puddle it's dropping like crazy the water's so far down there's no structure anyway it's winter i'm gonna stay out here and keep filming and keep fishing for you guys hope you enjoyed it and please join us for our next set of coast bass fishing show give us some likes share and as always sub if you haven't no cars so music baby Sweet soul music. <laughs>